when a, when a child, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. didn't succeed in a regular environment, in a regular setting school, then what do y'all try to do that's different here so that they can be successful? Well, and we do talk a lot about that. I mean, we, we see kids that were like, I can't believe you weren't successful on a traditional campus. Um, and then we see ones that immediately were like, oh, I, I totally understand. Um, what we do different is, and it's not that we do it better, we just do it different, is the fact that we can address each kid's individual needs. Because we don't have 30 kids in a classroom. And because of the availability of technology that they have here. Um, this is just not feasible in a traditional classroom. That each kid can have their specific needs met. Um, you know, we have the luxury of saying, okay, this is a kid that drives their five siblings to four different schools in the morning. They can't be here at eight. That's just unrealistic. And so we can modify and adjust based on that kid's needs. And I think that that's, that's where we feel a need um, for those kids that their life is not conducive to the traditional model. So what type of person does it take to work here? What qualities does it take to be successful? Because mm. you can tell me how it's alternative curriculum, you can right. tell me how it's this or this or this or this, but it obviously takes someone different to do this? Well, yes. I mean, you can't, you can't be rigid. You know, you've got to be able to modify and adjust on the fly. Um, and there's a sense of fluidity that you have to have. Um, and that's not to say that we don't have rules and organization. Um, organized chaos is a little bit of what it looks like but as a teacher, you realize just how absolutely organized it is. It only, it only looks like everybody doing their own thing. Um, you just, you have to be willing to modify and adjust. That's absolutely paramount. And work with other people. Um, we probably work with our colleagues on a daily, on an hourly basis more than anybody on the traditional campus. While it, it's more so we feel the desire. I mean, we, yes, we want to be successful as a school, but we want that success for those, these kids. You know, we, we understand that if they don't pass the test, they don't graduate. Um, and that's, that's, that's not a victory. That's not even a hollow victory. Um, we want them to be successful, and we want the school to be successful. So I think at that point, that is another benefit of being able to modify and adjust. Because we could very much on the fly this year go, okay, you know what? What we've been doing hasn't worked for the kids that we had, for the kids that we have right now. So we need to do something different. And we can shake it up and literally in a day change what we're doing.